Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to 272win.com, we have a new updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more election videos. Here is our source that people swear in every video now that we don't use sources that we're biased, that we make up our numbers. We always mention our sources in every video. At the beginning, in the middle of the video, or at the end if I forget or if she forgets to mention it, we don't pull these numbers out of the air. These are 100% numbers from verified sources, 271.com, CNN.com, New York Post, Huffington Post, all those. The Ruzeman, um and the Aless and Atlas polls, the Emerson polls. Like We use reputable sources for the most part. So let's get on to the map and let's begin this update election map according to 272win.com. Washington State... Yeah. With 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with six electoral votes, is a light pink for Donald J. Trump. It is a toss-up state. Some consider it a battleground, some don't. Just depends. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah, with six electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. I don't know if I trust 270 to win.com, but we'll continue this. It's been blue for two days now. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is a toss-up. It is not leaning toward Trump or Harris, according to 270win.com. It will not be colored in. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is a light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state at large is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is red for Donald J. Trump. And the littlest district is blue for Kamala Harris. So the Republican for Nebraska at large, too, click that for Donald J. Trump. Yes. And now Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is pink for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral votes, and Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, is a toss-up state. Neither will be colored in on this map, according to 272win.com. Iowa, with 6 electoral votes, is light pink for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is deep blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is a light pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Hillbilly eulogy. West Virginia, four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is a light pink for Donald J. Trump. It is heavily favored to be for Donald J. Trump in Florida, according to recent polls. There's a very, very small likelihood that it would go blue again for any other candidate, Kamala Harris or Independent. So Florida is red for Donald J. Trump, but we're going to keep it pink according to 271.com. Just to clarify on why it's pink for those of you who are probably up in arms typing comments angrily at us, which has happened in past electoral map videos. We're just trying to clarify. This is according to 271.com, not our opinion on Florida. Georgia with 16 electoral votes is a toss-up. It is not colored in period according to 271.com. It could go either way for either candidate, but on most polls, Georgia is leaning toward Trump, but we're not going to color it in. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. 
North Carolina with 16 electoral votes is a toss-up. It's not colored in on 270win.com. But according to several polls, including realclearpolling.com, Trump has uh, less than 1% lead over Harris in North Carolina, but we're not coloring in it for clarification purposes. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is a light blue for Kamala Harris. And Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes is a toss-up according to 270win.com. And according to realclearpolling.com as well for clarification, they are both in a locked tie for Pennsylvania at the exact same percentages. Whew. This is going to be scary. Donald Trump needs Pennsylvania in order to secure his electorate victory and send him back to the White House. Kamala Harris needs Pennsylvania and her two pathways to victory to send her to the main chair in the White House where Joe Biden's ass currently sits. New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine, the state itself, is red for Donald J. Trump. The rest of the states, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, MD, and DC are all blue for Kamala Harris. This puts Donald J. Trump at 219 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 232, not including the other toss-ups or the battleground states. This is going to be a super close election. We saw this in 2020. We saw it in 2016 where Trump lost the popular vote to Hillary Clinton but won the presidency. This is the most important election of our lifetimes, people. So, some polls say that RFK Jr. has 2.2% of the vote and Stein has 0.9. You guys, you people, need to not vote for the independents. Not vote for people who you know are not going to win. The only way they can win is if both candidates are hospitalized, cannot complete their terms, and their vice presidents are hospitalized, or all four are killed, assassinated, whatever. Then it would be a possibility for those two independents to win. It is not going to happen. The likelihood is very, it's less than 1%. Do not throw your votes away. If you are voting for RFK Jr. or Stein, you need to put your vote to either Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump, a person that is most likely going to win and have a chance, not people that are not going to have a chance to win. We urge you to not throw your most important, your sacred right to vote away on an independent who has no chance of winning. RFK Jr. endorsed Donald J. Trump a month and a half ago. So all of you RFK Jr. purists should be voting for Donald J. Trump. Stein, I don't know where they sit. It doesn't matter where they sit. If you know your candidate is not going to win, either vote for Donald J. Trump or Kamala Harris. We're not biased. We're not telling anyone who to vote for. Just basically that RFK Jr. endorsed Donald J. Trump. So why wouldn't you vote for Donald J. Trump instead of RFK in the non battleground states? You're throwing your vote away if you're voting for RFK Jr. or Stein. So Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, pick one. One of the two that are likely to win. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Brainwormed. Oh.